uh, is the life I'm living meaningful enough to justify a suffering? <laughs> because suffering, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're all going to suffer. We're going to go through some suffering. But we got to choose our suffering. And what's the end game? Is this life meaningful enough? What I'm going through meaningful enough to justify the suffering I'm going through? And, uh, yeah, I was just looking through the Bible, just different people. We could just take, like, Jacob, uh, Leah, and Rachel. They all suffer, right? Jacob suffered. I mean, I guess an in, indentured in servant to her, their father for a total mm-hmm. of 14 years, basically, right? Yeah. L- Leah suffered. She wasn't the chosen one, really. Right. Rachel couldn't have kids initially. They're, they're all suffering. But what came from that suffering, the 12 tribes, the promise that was validated, the covenant that was fulfilled, I think they would say it was worth it. So I think, you know, <laughs> I think they lost a lot. I, they lost a lot. I can't speak for them, of course. But we take that. So we don't know if those people exist or not, right? But let's take it. Let's apply it to ourselves. We've all suffered. And so we suffer sometimes. We didn't necessarily, well, I guess we all choose our suffering. But we chose to stay into something, a suffering that we could have gotten out of, maybe for the wrong reasons. And we didn't just take a step back and say, the life I'm living, is this worth the suffering? You know, what's the end game? What's the covenant? What's the promise I'm trying to fulfill? And some people do, though. They say, I want to I wanna make sure my kids are... Or, or grown or, or going to college before I get out of the situation. But what's the sacrifice? Is it is it really worth it? What are you giving up to do that? You know, if they're mm-hmm. saying mom getting beat, is it worth it? Or if you're just unhappy and you guys have grown apart. Yeah, you know, that's a different thing to being beat. <laughs> right? So, you know, I don't know. What do you want to do? <laughs> I kind of threw you for a loop. No, that's that's perfectly fine. I mean, I'm just thinking, thinking about all the stuff you're saying. Woo. That's <laughs> that's deep. Yeah, I mean, we, we got to choose it. We got to choose our suffering. Like, like, Jesus chose his suffering. He chose He chose his death. He chose his suffering. Do you choose your suffering or do you choose your path and accept the suffering that goes with it? Choose your path and accept the suffering that goes with it. I can see that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see that. Whatever, I choose my path and mm-hmm. whatever comes with it, I can say I'm with it. That's my path. Um, what is the path? Is it, is because it, I remember, I, that, that just reminds me of a time when I was a young girl. I think I was only 11 or 12 years old. And I, I loved the nighttime. I loved, you know, creeping out of bed when I was supposed to be in bed and watching the moon and stars and just, you know, having that quiet time. Right. And I remember one time just having this burning feeling inside of me that I wanted to know truth. I just didn't feel like what I seen on a day-to-day basis was really my truth. Right. And I remember saying out loud, looking at the sky and saying out loud, show me truth, no matter what it takes. Yeah. yeah. Well, hey, sometimes that. I look back on that many years ago and I wonder what I really have said that if I would have known the amount of suffering, the amount of immense suffering that I had to go through to get to that. Right. I hope I would have. But, you know, the thing is, is I, I honestly think. Um, you know, for myself anyway, I chose the path and then accepted the suffering that came with it, not letting it pull me from the path that I knew that I wanted to find my truth, whatever it was. Hmm. Uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so, so, okay, so you're that's interesting. So, you're on your path and in this stage. There's life. We have characters. And they, they play their part. But we're the main character. Can we exit left or tell them to exit left? 
like because you're you're taking away from the scene, you're taking away from the plot where where we're going. So you gotta you gotta get out of here so we can keep keep focus, or do we we keep the same characters? Cause I've I've taken characters out of my life off the stage so I can concentrate on the path. I've done oh, yeah. that. Oh yeah, I agree with you on that. I agree with you on that. Um So my question to you is <laughs> does suffering only come from other people? <laughs> That's a good question. And I thought about that too, right? So I think there's two types of suffering mainly. Uh self-inflicted. Mm-hmm. You know, self-inflicted, and I think that comes a lot from hurt, uh things that are in our subconscious pains that we haven't dealt with and then and then we have other suffering uh that's unwilled so to speak is unwilled people have their things they're suffering from and we brought them into our lives or we come into each other's lives mm-hmm. we don't know what's going on in their subconscious mm-hmm. their past their right. deep hurts so we're connected now <laughs> and so now we married a a, a, a drug user a, di- a, a drug addict right yeah we that's not in our subconscious right to be addicted to drugs but it's in theirs and now it's revealed now we're married we're in the same household we got kids i'm a part of that suffering now like i gotta go through whatever comes with that i'm going through that now now Mm -hmm. now what is it in us that says i gotta get out of this or to keep holding on because there are some miracle stories there are some stories to where the person has triumphed overcome and now the couple is testifying about it <laughs> when, yeah. when like what 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 says i got to get out of here year 9 year 10 year 5 or let me ride this out and it changes in, it changes in year 20 or or maybe it never changes like, did did you did we pull the trigger too <laughs> soon or not soon enough? Because I've seen both. Wow. Well, mm-hmm. I have too. Wow. I mean, I suppose it depends on how uh, the one that's the one that's you know. I don't know. You're in it together. You're, you know. Let's look at the drug abuser. They're they're actually inflicting their own suffering on themselves, right? By right. some of that stuff. So they're inflicting it probably because of a, a a mortal wound of some kind that's in their psyche. All right. So now you look at the other party that's suffering with them. Basically, when we choose a spouse, I think we choose you know we choose the suffering for better or worse. But it, it does, you know, I can say this from personal experience, it, it gets to a point where if you're not careful, it can it can destroy you. I mean, it can literally, you know, when it gets to a point where you're losing, you're losing your focus, you're losing your path, you're losing everything. I don't know. I don't see holding out on that just because what use is it if you if you end up dying? And you never fulfilled your purpose. Right. Right. Because that will happen. Yeah, that, that will, will happen yeah. where, where you know, the body can go into such depression and such whatever that it will shut down. And it's a subconscious choice that you would rather die than be in a certain situation. It happens all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I think when it comes to a point, we talk about this a lot, uh, we mm-hmm. talked about it last time we spoke two weeks ago or three weeks ago. Um, mm-hmm. Polarity, give and take, the law, one of the laws of the universe. And when I don't think anything is going to be an equal balance, 50 50, but it should yeah. go back and forth, right? Fluctuate, right? Right. right. When this thing, when the scales are just <laughs> constantly like this, yeah. I, I think you got to start looking at tapping out, like like cutting off people. You know, uh, but I think realistically, you know, things should flow like this, right? And like it, waves. It, yes, and even if it gets like this, uh, the pendulum, you know, swings way over, right? 
Yeah. I mean, you have your moments. It's like this. We've all hit rock bottom, uh, mm -hmm. had those moments, right? But then it swung over. And so we're, we're back on the other side, right? But in a relationship, if it's constantly like this, I mean, we're talking about five, ten years. I mean, what purpose are you fulfilling? Right. Yeah, yeah, I think it's it's time to cut off. There, it's not worth it. Yeah, and and you're at, at some point, it's like you're subconsciously trying to go against the law of the universe, mm -hmm. <laughs> and you won't win. If you enjoyed this video and previous videos, go to www.angel2angelhelp.org and donate. That's www.angel2angelhelp.org and donate. We provide services for the homeless the mentally ill, the elderly, and the youth.